There are a few Windows PC emulators on Android right now that are starting to catch on. And if you've watched any of those videos on my channel, then you know that GameHub has given me the best compatibility out of the bunch. So today, I wanted to show you three different ways that you can install PC games on Android with the help of GameHub. The first method that I want to demonstrate today is actually going to seem the most familiar since it's the exact same process that you'll be going through to install the game on your actual Windows PC. And I found that it's easier to use WinLater to install these games before switching to GameHub to actually play it. So we're gonna start by getting the installation files onto the phone itself. You could do this by downloading those install files to the computer and then copying those over to the Android smartphone, or you could do it by downloading the files directly to the phone, which I'll do here today. I have found that GOG.com is a great place to purchase PC games that work well with this basic installation method. They offer an offline installer that you can use to install these directly onto your device. If you have these installation files from another website or another source, then you can copy those files over in a similar way. We download them one at a time and we store them in the same folder on our device. Then we're gonna load up WinLater, start or create a container. It doesn't matter what the settings are for that container right now. Once we find that folder, double click on the setup or install exe file and then we just go through the installation, just like we normally would. But you're gonna notice this installation goes through smoothly, just like you would expect. And with that installation folder in mind, we open GameHub back up, go to the My tab, find the import games option. We're gonna import a PC game. Then we browse to that installation folder, find the exe file for it, and select it. GameHub normally does a good job about getting the icon and the name correct, but if not, you can manually add that there. You can launch the game from here but you're most likely gonna to need to dive into the PC games setting and the compatibility tab to adjust all of the settings needed to make this emulator compatible with this specific game. The second method that I want to show you here today is probably going to be the easier method to manually get the game installed through the Game Hub emulator on Android. This method also requires you to have the installation files for your game, which I have right here. But it also requires you to manually install this game onto your desktop or laptop PC. So, just like before, we're gonna be using Baldur's Gate as the example. And again, here are the same installation files that we downloaded from GOG. And we're gonna install these the same way that we did before. We're just doing it on the PC this time. So find that setup exe file, click on it. And then again, go through the installation process. Again, you're going to want to make sure that you know the location 
of this since you're going to need to copy these files to your smartphone. So you can see it's copying these to the Android folder and then a Fallout folder in there, which is fine. So let's go ahead and install. After the game has been installed, find that installation folder. You can see here are all the files for the game. So I'm going to take this folder, I'm going to connect my phone to the PC with a USB cable, and copy these to the downloads folder of my phone. After we have moved that installation folder to our phone, we add it to Game Hub in the same way. So we're going to go to Import Games, Import a PC game, and then go to where that folder was saved at. Once you get to that folder, select that Baldur's EXE file or whatever the EXE file for your game. And again, Game Hub should load that information pretty easily. So now we can add it and configure the settings. The last method is probably going to be the easiest since we're basically going to be installing games directly from Steam. However, my compatibility on these games has been hit or miss. Sometimes the games play really easily, other times they need additional tweaking, and then in some instances, the version from Steam does not work. But if I copy that installation folder into GameHub, then it will work. So we have different options to choose from. And I'm going to recommend that you log into your Steam account using the QR code. You should make sure that you have two-factor authentication enabled as well. Once you have logged in, you'll gain access to your Steam library as you scroll through that page. But you can also come up here and do a search if you wanted to as well. So like before, we can search for Baldur's Gate, find it, download it from Steam, and install it just like that. And just like the other methods, we go in here for PC game compatibility to adjust these settings, or you can just try to load it automatically. And there you have it. Three different ways of getting the PC version of Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition installed on your Android smartphone or tablet. Windows video game emulation is still pretty spotty since most people will have to manually configure the settings of the emulator to match the game that you're trying to play. But when it works, it honestly feels like magic even after all the work that you did to get the game installed on your smartphone. 
you're literally able to play Windows PC games on Android thanks to the work from these open source projects. If you felt this video was useful, then please click on that like button and the hype button below this video. Share it with everyone you know, and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't done so already.